everyone, and welcome once again to the Big Dick Swinging Past Your Knees podcast. This I'm Brogan, and this is my co-host as always, Keith Morris. What up? And uh, today we wanted to uh, make some characters on a wrestling game and also talk about inappropriate things that uh, you have done in public or have seen done in public. Yeah, man. Uh, that reminds me of one time when uh, myself and uh, Mr. Brogan here we're driving to Bloomington, and uh, for some reason we had this idea come over our heads where uh, it would be awesome if Brogan would reach over and pretend like he was uh, jerking me off. And uh, I really got into it. I sold the role. I was definitely uh, shooting dice all over this dude's dick. Yeah, like, uh, I, we, we played it off really well. Like, uh, I, I even, like, put my head back in the scene and sat back like I was really enjoying it and getting off and everything. And uh, let's say onlookers were horrified. Yes, people drove by and uh, definitely did some double takes. I was hoping for a couple spit takes, but, you know, what can you do? It is the highway. <laughs> it would have been awesome if somebody would, like, swerve. Like, oh, shit! <laughs> some, some some people said to leave it on the field. We just prefer to leave it on my seat, I guess. Yeah. Yahtzee, motherfucker! Or my steering wheel before <laughs> board and everything else. Uh, yeah, we painted the town white. Yeah. <laughs> it was hard to get out of my seat afterwards. <laughs> he was stuck. And, uh, or, uh, just, uh, acting like we're really gay in public. Uh, yeah, like, does anybody else do that? It seems to make people uncomfortable, but, like, we re- drive around and randomly randomly yell, uh, we're gonna, Girls s- night out. We're gonna suck people's decks. <laughs> suck some decks, <laughs> batch! Many. It, it, it happens on Girls Night Out. I mean, yeah, but have, have you guys ever done anything like pretend you're gay or do anything kind of weird like we do? That would make people, like, question your sanity? Or is everyone really, like, tight butthole, buttoned-up people yeah. that uh, just don't really like to have fun? Like, I don't know, when, like, driving around listening to Candyman really loud? Or, no, wait, uh, the Good Ship Lollipop or whatever? Yeah, that Good Ship Lollipop is a tight jam to roll up on some homies listening to that song. Yeah, blaring it in the parking lot in the Bloomington Mall. Yeah. At least I didn't get my car keyed like Jake did. Yeah. <laughs> or just, like, randomly be painted up like the Misfits and uh, have a chick come up and, like, try to hit on my brother. That was pretty cool, too, on Halloween. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that wasn't even Halloween, was it? It, wasn't the it was day. the day after. Yeah, it was the day after Halloween, and we're, like, dressed up with face paint and, like, wigs on and all this crazy shit. And, like, people are just staring at us like we're weirdos. Yeah, and then we go to uh, Steak and Shake afterward and uh, act like we're in a band. We, we are in a band. I guess we technically were. We were definitely in the Misfits that day. Were or are? We are. We 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 are a band. We're we're kind of like Trent Reznor, except uh, he just hires people like for, you know, live tours and album people play for him and stuff. But uh, we're two guys, so we're kind of better than he is. Yep, for sure. Trent Reznor ain't got shit on lesbian crew cut, and he never will. We're we're actually still going on Warped Tour this year. Uh, we're gonna play a few dates on that. That'll be cool if you guys can come check us out. Yeah, with our dog bassist. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> our our third actually greatest hits album of all time. Every album release is our greatest hits album because every new song we write is our new best song ever. Yep. I mean that's how good we are. I mean we're pretty talented. We're better than Miley Cyrus twerking. Yeah. But this she, guy ain't got no ass. Her ass is flat. She looked like a fucking somebody drilled a hole in the middle of a board. I want to see some ladies come up to us in public and show us what real fucking twerking is. That, was, that would be awesome. I think all these ladies around this area can't twerk because they ain't got no ass. I also they think that they can't, they can't give good head. I challenge, challenge them to yeah. that, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're, they're, the gauntlet's thrown down. If, yep. if you think you give good blowjobs, uh, you gotta hit come, us up. Come prove it. We'll fucking let you prove it yeah. on the podcast. Yeah, we will shoot this live. Yeah, we'll shoot it all right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, the best part is, is, like, we're gonna get, like, chicks over here to try to show us the twerk, but the, uh, the audio nature of a podcast, like, they're like, uh, uh, yeah, you're doing a good job, I guess. <laughs> well, I mean, we can probably get some spaghetti sound effects in there and stuff. Nice. So just, <laughs> like, am I getting a blowjob, or is Keith just eating spaghetti right next to the camera? <laughs> slurp, slurp, slurp. <laughs> oh, the bob is delicious. <laughs> <laughs> it's real Italian, so you know it's good. Oh, no, it's super greasy. You don't gotta lube it. <laughs> So yeah, we're uh, we're here playing some uh, fucking video game, and we're about to make uh, Ren Hoek and Killer Kadugan to face off against our triumphant tag team. We, we never lost the match except for the times we have. Yeah, except for those times, but it's only because Keith blew it. Yeah, it, it's a it's a 
tough job being the world champion and having this scrub ass as your tag team partner and losing because of him all the time. Yeah, like last time when you just like randomly got up and started eating and like left me by myself. And like your guy was just standing there and I kept trying to kick you. <laughs> yeah, the only damage it took in the fight was the damage my partner dealt to me. That's the way it should be. <laughs> We're pretty extreme. We're a dysfunctional tag team, but we are the greatest tag team of all we time. We beat those bitch-ass McCaskey brothers. Yeah, they ain't got shit. Speaking of that, I think Brian said he's going to be on the podcast with us when we do it at Buffalo Wild Wings. Oh, our first guest. Yep, he said he wants to be there, so that'd be cool. I, I don't know how loud it's going to be there, though. Mick O'Dynamite himself. Mick Dynamite. The Irish fucking car bomb. Yep. Himself, live in color. Yep, live in white and red. Because he's a pale fucking redhead. <laughs> he's a fire crotch. You know, when, when we were working together, somebody asked him if fire crotch was an STD. <laughs> <laughs> and the only thing I can say is yes. <laughs> yes, he spread it like wildfire. He sure did. Brian's a lot like me in that, except he has even less standards than I do. Oh, my God. He's like, God. I don't care. I'll fuck a fat bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Blue needs to pass some of his girls off on him. I know, dude. Uh, blue, that guy. Yeah. He he tried oh, one, he tried again to pass her off to me when I started working on it. Oh. He was like, I know this girl. Say, I know you just broke up with your fiance. I got this girl you recover <laughs> with. And then he tried to tell everyone that she wasn't she wasn't that fat when he was hitting it. And I was like, when was she not that fat? I I think uh, she's not that fat. <laughs> you should probably try it out. She's bigger than I am, dude. I don't believe you. And I'm fat. <laughs> I don't believe you. But yeah, inappropriate things, you know, you've done in public. Uh, like, me and Keith really don't have... We have a bad case of I don't give a fuck, especially when we're out in public, especially when we're not in town. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because, yeah, like, who it, do we got to impress? Yeah, if we're not in town, it's it's over with. Something's probably ridiculous is going to happen. Yeah, for sure. Somebody's going to say something and... Oh, man, I just thought of something we should do. Mm. Uh, <laughs> I saw this picture last night. Uh, one of the basketball players was sitting on the scorer's table. And like waiting to be checked in, and somebody snuck in a fake poo behind him and put it like right behind where he was sitting, like closest closest to his buzz. They came without actually touching him. Then they took a picture of it, so it looked like he was just like dropped the fucking log right there on the thing. <laughs> I dig it. So, are you saying that we should randomly leave fake poop everywhere? <laughs> yeah. Like whenever we get up. Wait, speaking of what, we just went to lunch, and I got crop dusted yeah, by an old lady. An old lady who's probably going to get laid tonight. Yeah, uh, definitely going to get laid tonight. She it was fucking a, crop dusted. You, like, let out a fucking... Like, she stood up next to me, and all of a sudden I just hear... <laughs> and, like, I stopped what I was doing. I looked around to see if anyone else heard it. And our buddy Pat, like, kind of had this look on his face. Like, he kind of heard it. And it was just awkward silence for a minute. And then I was just like, I think I just got crop dusted. <laughs> And then some lady was talking about getting it on her fucking birthday. Yeah, dude. Like, this 80-year-old lady was talking about getting it in on her birthday. Yep. You know what? All the all the more, that, that's good for her. I'm glad she's still getting it in when she's 80. I'm just worried about her health. I, I wonder how many uh, popsicles and duct tape it's going to take for him to get a bonus. And glue? <laughs> and glue. <laughs> <laughs> oh, inside jokes. Oh. Uh. <laughs> then you take the butt cheeks and spread them apart with your hands. <laughs> uh, or um, how about uh, when we drew uh, come on my titties on my uh, chest and uh, and I, I had the hot dog I had the hot dog hair zipper. Out. Yeah, I had the I have the hot dog hanging out my pants by his chest and, and we're we're taking we're posing for a picture and our friend's dad comes home walks in the door and busts in while we're doing this picture. <laughs> He's like, what the fuck are you guys doing? And it was just like, how, how do you explain that? How, what do you say? What do you, what do you explain to somebody's parent? You're you're 16 years old. Their parent walks in the front door. You have a hot dog hanging out of your pants. Your friend has his shirt off with marker wrote on his chest, come on my titties. What, what do you say to that? If you're a cool parent, you say party on. <laughs> party on, Garth. <laughs> I don't know what regular parents say because I'm a cool parent. Yeah. So. Uh, but is that the time you just walk, or, like just turn around and go? Yeah, back you just go. Room? You just go. You know what? I shouldn't have came home. Like it's I. Just, like, this is my fault, guys. Yep. Sorry. Continue on. Yeah. Go ahead. You guys are good kids. You just do whatever. 
<laughs> that same night while we were hanging out, some guy randomly drives by and drops a mattress out of his fucking truck. With fucking a log huge st- shit stain. With log stains all over. Yeah, and that motherfucker looked like log was rolling downstairs all over that <laughs> shit. And uh, Gross. we all posed with it. We took we pictures. Po- we posed with a poop stained mattress in the middle of the street. Mm-hmm. And that, that was the same night we were doing the invisible rope trick too, wasn't it? And it worked. And we were uh, fucking uh, doing the holding up the scores. Yep. Yep. When people drove by, we also did in high school. If if you guys are really fucking ballsy, you go to your school or a place of work or just running around public with a couple of your guy friends or girlfriends, whichever, uh, and you will hold up signs. And when fucking men or women walk by, you will rate them vocally in their face, in their face, so they know where they stay in between one through ten. Mm-hmm. Six. Y'all a bunch of sixes. You got, man, you girls are smart. You all got straight A's for titties. Oh, shit. Oh. Or if you're really fucking ballsy, you'll work at Subway and uh, forget that you have on your <laughs> fucking speaker systems on outside and you got the headset on and you'll yell that Joe fingered Becky in the parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Becky. Over the fucking PA system. And then a horrified mother and her daughter will come out of the women's bathroom <laughs> and leave. Becky uh, Brown. Huh? Becky Brown. Yep. Is she dirty? I like Becky. I don't really like. I don't want to talk shit about her. She's cool. She got your finger. I know. Why are we talking? <laughs> I don't know. Hopefully, hopefully it picks it up. It will. It's like oh. the blatantly the microphone's just right here. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, well, I don't think Becky will ever watch our podcast. But if she does, Becky, I would lick your butt. Oh, man. Not really. I just wanted to say it to horrify you, because you're going to tag me in for all the butt lickings. Uh, Newsflash, I will not lick anybody's butt. I don't care who, how fucking hard you are. You're going to have to have this guy. Yeah, I'll I'll fucking... Luckily, he has a coat. Overcoat. A fat man in an overcoat will lick your ass when you you get down with Keith. Yeah, I, I'll have to Wayne Gretzky at that point mm-hmm. and uh, tag out. Yep, he'll just fucking. Then, then when you're ready for me to fucking come pick you up against the wall with your legs off the fucking ground, I will fucking pile drive that shit. I'll lick your butthole and then he'll fuck your butthole, but that's yeah. the only way it's going down. Yeah, my tongue's not going anywhere near that. He's not. Putting, I know it comes out of that. He's sprinkles. not putting the tongue in the bone. I don't like bone. sprinkles. Brandon. Yeah, chocolate soft serve comes out of there. Chocolate soft serve and sprinkles. Yep. I fucking don't like that shit. Rainbows and happiness. Yeah, I don't like happiness either. <laughs> But yeah, so that's another inappropriate thing. I would lick someone's butt in public. Really? Yeah, I don't give a fuck. I would fuck in public. I don't care. That's that doesn't count though. That's like completely different to me. Yeah, I know, but I'm just saying I would do it. I don't care. Okay. There's like nothing that really I'm ashamed to do. As long as it won't get us arrested. I don't want to get arrested. You can't bang in public or lick butt holes in public. Yeah, you might be able to get away with licking a butthole. <laughs> I guess it depends on who's watching. Yeah, no, I don't know if there's any law specifically against analingus. Oh, we might have to look that up. I'm looking up analingus right now. If anybody actually, <laughs> if anyone actually knows, please leave a comment because we don't know. Yeah, we don't know the laws on analingus, and we don't even know how you feel about it. I mean, yeah, would you, you would you let a fat man in overcoat yeah. lick your butt? Girls, do you would you let a guy lick your butthole, or girls would you lick a guy's butthole? I, I would never let a girl lick my butthole. I think we discuss we discussed See, this on the pilot. Yeah, how how does that work? How? You wouldn't let a girl lick your butthole, but you would lick hers. Yeah, but my butthole is worse than most people's. You know what I mean? Like No, I don't I don't Like understand. the stuff that comes out of my ass is fucking it's tragic. It's like the Holocaust. Really? Yeah. Like So so like when you're sitting on the pot before you like drop it, is it kinda like you're writing Schindler's list? Kinda of of, like all the things that are gonna come out of there? Yeah, like really when I'm sitting on the toilet, I'm like first of all, I don't really like to shit at my friends' house because I don't wanna subject them to that. Cause like it would be the end of our friendship, like it'd be like, oh my god, what have you done? <laughs> so I, I try not to poo at my friend's house unless I like really have to, and then if I do, I stay in there for like an hour afterwards to try to let the smell subside. Like it is bad. My butthole is fucking tragic. So if a girl wanted to lick that, then I feel sorry for her face. You feel sorry for her face. Yeah, cause like she's here, it's gonna melt off probably. What if you poop? If, if I poop, then it's over for sure. <laughs> She's got. She needs a gas mask. Have you ever seen She's scanners? <laughs> scanners? Yeah, her head would explode. What's that? That it's that clip on the internet where the guy with glasses head like just explodes. Is it real? It's from a movie. Oh. Like Total Recall, like where this head gets all red and. <laughs> There's no oxygen. 
Hast du die da am Arsch? Kohagen, you have what you want, give some air. <laughs> pretty good impersonations. I don't know. Pretty sure that we should uh, go take that act on the road. I think we should. But yes, is there anything inappropriate that you would not do in public? Like, yeah. I mean, like what though? Like, what is your what is your limit? Like, what's the? Um, you should probably give him a super skinny neck too, because he's. Oh, it looks I'm like a mosquito. Far. I'm not that far yet. Right. I like his ears though. I dig it. <laughs> I'm good. Uh, that's tough. What would I not do in public? Um. Would you streak? Like if, I'm saying, because it, it called for it. Like not just be like I'm just gonna do it now. Yeah, like like it, would you do the naked mile? Um. Like where, because like this way you won't get arrested. Because like I said, you don't want to get arrested. Right. But where you just strip down and just fucking run for a mile. Am I going solo or is there everybody else? Look, there's a lot of people there too. Would you uh, get swept up in the group mentality? No, I, I never get swept up in the group mentality. Not just that I wouldn't do it. It's just like, um, I'd be afraid that I'd pop an inappropriate boners and like be running into people with them. That's a crime. <laughs> yeah. That, see, then we're gonna get arrested. I know. I don't want to fucking spear somebody from across the yard. I think I would get in trouble for like wanting to grab all these hot niggas. Hot nubile titties. Yeah. What if it was just dudes? Then definitely, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad we're on the same page. <laughs> so like, there's no chicks there to ruin the fucking moment. <laughs> dudes only party, guys. Sausage fest. Somebody brought a Vienna sausage. It was me. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta bring a small sausage to the party just to make everybody else feel good about themselves. What am I doing? I don't know, but his head looks tiny and I like it. <laughs> yes, keep making it small. That's how your girlfriend likes it. I guess. <laughs> but, okay, so let's see. I'm trying to think of my... I don't, I don't think I would... Uh, I don't know. Like, would you? I I, not like off the top of my head, I wouldn't. Yeah, I can't think of anything that there's. There's not much that I wouldn't do within the the realm of legality. Like, if it's legal, then I'll do it. I don't give a shit. Like, I'll be loud and obnoxious and fucking scream random shit. Like, I don't care. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, like I really like we fucking used to throw footballs around in Walmart, all that shit. Remember that guy yelled at us at one time. He did. We should have beat his ass. We were a bunch of rowdy teenagers. We were, we were rebels. Seriously. Who throw us footballs around in, in, Walmart. in Walmart? Oh, That was back when the store was really small, too, so the aisles were, like, really narrow. Yeah. Cool guys. We were cool guys. Does Ren have short legs? I don't know, but he looks ridiculous as fuck right now. I know. I'm I trying know. to find his, like, body. Oh, there. Wait. Oh, there we go. I'm trying not to make him really small, but... Yeah, no. Hold on. Let's get a picture of uh, Ren Hoke for I reference. I don't think I'm getting, like, much smaller than that, dude. Yeah, no, I'm talking about, like, uh... Yeah, no, you just just make everything short as possible. I'm trying to. But... He looks like a freak. Well, yeah, he's a fucking asthma hound chihuahua. Huh. Yeah, he has long ears, like a long pointy mouth, and short legs. Working and on. big feet. See? So means and big, big eyes. That means he got a big dog, too. He doesn't even look like he has a dog. But yeah, that's what he looks like, dog. I got him now. Yeah, yeah, that'll work. Because see, see, he's kind of rounded at the bottom. But he's got got short legs. As short as you can get him. I can't make him any short. But I mean, like, uh, like make the... But, and try to make his arms skinny, too. Because right now he looks like a pinhead. Yeah. 